Welcome back. Today, we are going to look at uh, uh, general drive quantities. Um, for the, those of you who um, have already gone through the previous uh, class, we discussed, um, we discussed about base quantities. In fact, we started with physical quantities. Then we, we, we discussed base quantities. And then in the previous class that we talked about base quantities, I, the last two, um, I mentioned and the last two angular units, I, I mentioned something. The last two angular units, plain angle and solid angle, uh, they are subsidiary units that are used in the SI unit. But they are treated as dimensionless. The subsidiary units are, are used for convenience. I mean, for convenience eh, to differentiate between a truly dimensionless uh, quantity, that is pure number, and an angle, which are different measurements. So today we are going to look at some general dried quantities. Dried quantities are those whose definitions are based on other physical quantities or, or let's say base quantities. Okay, so please, because this is our beginning, um, we need to understand things, each thing that we speak, we should understand it. So I am going to write the definition of uh, derived quantities here for you to, to have it in, for you to have it at any time that you want. Derived quantities are, are those whose definitions are based on physical quantities. Whose definitions are based on other physical quantities. Okay. Or we can call them best quantities. Just as we have best unit. You know. So some I mean important applied best units for space and time. We can also have it. For example, if you will want to talk about space, area and volume are of course drive unit. They are drive from, from uh, length, but they include for completeness as they are co frequently in many drive quantities. You know, so let's say space, for example. Space. Now, space. 
In space is important applied based unit. You know, um, if we are talking about space, we mean area and volume, and, and of course they are drive unit. Okay. Important applied base unit and uh, for space and time. And time. In fact, I am going to discuss them here below below because I'm going to list them here Area and volume are, of course, derived from length are derived from length, but included for completeness as they occur frequently. Completeness as they occur frequently in many dried quantities. As they occur, they occur frequently. In many, in many dried, many dried quantities. So, look at this table. I'm going to make a table where uh, I will discuss, I will list them. So you can be able to understand. So,
So we have um, position or vector. Now let's see position. If I want to talk about position, this is the position or or something like um, spatial vector. Or let's vector. This is vector. I'm sorry, I need to break it properly. No position is a vector quantity. And this is position. Now the symbols the symbols for for positions is R, you know, R, and then we have A and D, you know, the SI unit is, is M for meter, and then the dimensions symbol Dimension symbol is it's a L. So when you are talking about position, you are definitely talk uh, talking about um, about a kind of distance as well, you know. So we also have angular position, angular. I mean, I mean angle of uh, rotation. It can also be treated as a vector or scalar. Angular position. That's angular position. Angle of rotation angle of rotation you know they can be seen as vectors or color now the the symbols for them is theta and uh, phi Well, I have to write this thing carefully. Good. Now we have um, radian. And for dimension, they don't have dimensions, so no dimension for angular position or angle of rotation. Then we have area or cross section. Area, cross section. We use these symbols to represent area or cross section. And uh, they are measured in meter square. Meter square. Or liter square. You know. Now we also have vector, vector area that is magnitude of of surface and the um, 
Okay, magnitude of surface area and and direct normal to a kind of tangier plane of surface so vector area. Vector area. A vector is represented this way. This is a vector. We can use and we can cross with a button. This is for vectors. All these are vectors. And then they are measured in meters squared. This is meter squared. And then we also have volume. Volume. Of course, we use V to represent volume. And the uh, volume is in, is in meter cube. That's cubic meter. And it can be in beta cube. Okay, so this 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 is for area and volume, and uh, when we are talking about uh, space, these are the general dry quantities that we can use. And then when we are talking about um, when we are talking about densities, flows, gradients, and uh, moments. You know, important and convenient dry quantities like densities, uh, flows, currents are associated with quantities. Sometimes different terms such as current density and flux density, rate, frequency, and current are used interchangeably in the in the same context, sometimes they are used uniquely, you know, to clarify this, this effective template, the right quantities. We, we can say, okay, let Q be any number on the, on the any quantity with some scope of context, not necessarily base quantities. And we can present a table to um, we can present a table to clarify such effects, you know. But what I'm saying is that important and convenient dry quantities like 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 currents, um, they they are associated with with uh, with many quantities. Sometimes different things. Like maybe current densities um, are used interchangeably in the same context, you know, and sometimes they are used uniquely. Okay, that's what I am saying. Now we can we can use we can use how. Uh, drive, I mean, integral or differential integral to, to, to solve some drive units problem. But we cannot just, at the beginning, we cannot just jump into this. Let us understand, let us understand the drive unit of this level first. I am going to give you more classes than I'm going to give you more lessons than we 
we as we progress i believe you you'll be able to understand better but for now th these are the general drive uh, quantities that we have thank you so much uh i will see you later in the next class